We host and the weathermen come to bring you forecasts and news and fun for the latest stories and all the puns for the Double A Anchor Show. Hello, Hello and welcome to the Double A Anchor, Anchor Show. Show. I'm Arwen. And I'm Alan. Today we have a very special story to share with you about a local robotics club and their sub team, Mecha Mule's Water Damage. After many successes this year, this team is diving straight into Sea Perch. Reporter Jamie is on the case. Here we are at the Wakai from Robotics Room where I'm interviewing a couple of the kids. Right now they're in prototype mode, utilizing 3D printing for test robots and challenging them against last year's. Peter, would you mind telling me a little bit about the 3D printing process? So I printed this robot using uh, Tinkercad and Cura, which are two programs. I, uh, it took three, anywhere from a day to two days to print this. and. Uh, in testing, we noticed that an imbalanced propulsion system caused it to pull up, so we're removing this uh, third motor. Nice. Elijah, this robot looks like it's a little bit different. Can you tell me about this one? So this RV is a duplicate of our last year one. We are testing to see what we know on an entirely new environment. Would you mind telling me about your greatest challenge this season and how it's affected you? So actually a couple of challenges were the print messing up so we had to use build plates and, uh, or a raft or any way you want to put it uh, to print the supports on otherwise they'd lift and then the time of the print is so, is so long that you have to really plan ahead quite a bit to get the testing days in when you need them. I don't know what I'm going to do with all these RVs man. They're just two May prototypes. Well, that's all right, because we'll be right back after this commercial break. Do you want to explore the deepest oceans and see the most amazing sea life? Well, come down to New To You ROV. We've got our last year's stock model with a standard controller. We've got the latest and greatest 3D printed models that have fantastic expertise. And we've also got the, the and we've got Lemon, the champion bot of 2022 with a, a, a PS4 controller for precision handling. Next, we've got what we like to call snake oil. If you want to do it yourself and have a great time with your family. Hello again. Here we are with the team down at the pool. Let's check in and see what they're doing. Hi Owen, would you mind telling me a little bit about what your team is working on? Not at all. All of our work is done following the engineering design process. A pattern of ask, imagine, plan, create, test, and improve. We just finished creating one of our first prototypes, and now we're in the testing stage to assess our progress. Let's take a deeper look on this team's testing process. Micah, would you tell me a little bit about it? I sure will. So for our testing in the obstacle course, we'll just run through it repeatedly, taking parts off or adding parts, seeing what causes drag and impedes on our velocity. And then we'll write down the different times for the runs. And then for the mission course, we'll do much the same thing. We'll take parts off, add parts, but this time we're looking for efficiency and reliability, seeing what's more prone to break and trying to, you know, get rid of those parts or improve upon them. And then at the end of the day, we just compare all of our times and point accumulation and we decide where to go from there. We chose this ROV because it's a design that worked last year and we have good control with it. It's also working well for this year for us. Within five seconds, we got the sea star. Yeah, the bottom one. What? Yeah. Can you guys tell me how your season has been in one sentence? This year has been very exhilarating to me. We've had plenty of practice and we're ready for another year of Sea Bridge. Dabbling in 3D printing has been a very good experience for me. People getting to do their own things and getting to learn what they want to learn has been fantastic. We experimented a lot and expanded our skill sets. I feel like as a team we've learned a lot together and grown a lot closer. It has been fun and enjoyable. I loved making the video with everybody. Now back to you at the news station. Looks like Team Water Damage has been doing pretty good this year. Let's hope they keep riding this wave of success. Yeah, they've put a lot of hard work into this season. The best of fishes go out to the Mecha Mules as the competition approaches. See, See you next, next time on, on the Double A Anchor, Anchor Show. Show. We hosts and the weathermen come to bring you forecasts and news and fun for the latest stories and all the puns for the Double A Anchor Show.